I now invite uh, Gedreta Mordumne from the Dodas Magnus University to present her ideas and research. Hello, everyone. I'll be Marcia Rezik, uh, and uh, I'll talk about the requirements. Let, uh, uh, what is expected from male stage research in nowadays society in the Zulis theoretical approach? And policies of higher education in national and European Union documents declare the need to increase the number of uh, young researchers as well as assure even more the quality of doctoral studies. That is why new demands um, are put on PhD study programs and uh, new skills and competences are demanded and expected from those who study PhD and are awarded with doctoral degree. One of the reasons for these growing re requirements is that doctoral students increasingly are not just educated for academic research, but uh, for labor market in uh, general. So who is early stage research? Uh, in scientific lit literature, description of uh, early stage research is not unanimous as different authors choose to widen or shorten uh, the time period that is inherent to uh, early stage researchers. <coughs> But European institutions who are responsible for doctoral studies and uh, research uh, present a very clear definition that it is a doctoral student who is in the first phase uh, four years of being professional in, in uh, research. So what is the legal uh, and regulated requirements for these researchers from the point of view of national documents? Analysis of uh, some of doctoral uh, programs in social sciences uh, and their outcomes reveal that doctoral programs are oriented towards the preparation of researchers who would be able to conduct independent research, work on social development projects, as well as solve uh, scientific and research problems. That means that most of the competences a PhD student is required uh, to develop are oriented towards the implementation of research. At that time, most of the European documents emphasize the importance of interdisciplinary competences uh, that involve leadership skills, fluent academic written and oral communication, project management, uh, development of foreign languages, as well as uh, enterprise skills, and nevertheless, uh, ICT skills. The idea of interdisciplinary competences is mostly found in scientific literature as well. Early stage researchers are expected to demonstrate knowledge not only in their own discipline, but they need to master a high level of their knowledge in their discipline in order to understand and be able to analyze research phenomenon under the view of other disciplines. Nevertheless, researchers are expected to be actively involved not only in academic life, but as well in social life and share their ideas and insights. Finally, uh, Early stage researchers must be prepared to share and adjust their knowledge and skills outside higher education institutions. And for that, they need to have skills on how to plan and manage their own career development. So for me, this theoretical analysis uh, allowed to have some insights and questions for future discussion. Just what is the role of virtual mobility, virtual courses and uh, distance learning in the process of preparation of uh, early stage researchers as well as uh, doctoral students and how can we, as I'm a doctoral student myself, how can we gain all these competences by using everything that is possible uh, online? Should they be more included into our curriculum, uh, doctoral cu curriculum? Because as I checked through some, as I mentioned, some of the uh, programs, study programs, is still more oriented toward researching, uh, and uh, there's just some of them mentioning like uh, gaining any leadership skills. Or, and unfortunately, our study programs don't have, have subjects in other fields than uh, just uh, research management. That's it very shortly. Thank you.